Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be considering the spiritual gems comings for the week of October 7th to 13th, 2024. So friends, thanks for joining us. And now, let's jump right in. For this week's Bible reading, we have Psalm 92 to 95. And let's start with the first question. This comes from Psalm 92, 5. Let's read it. How great your works are, O Jehovah! How very deep your thoughts are! So, how do these words well illustrate Jehovah's wisdom? And we notice the expression, how deep, really deep. When we contemplate Jehovah's wisdom, it's as if we were gazing into a limitless, bottomless chasm, a realm so deep, so vast that we could never even grasp its immensity, let alone trace it out or map it in detail. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. What spiritual gems from this week's Bible reading would you like to share? Let's begin with number one. We have Psalm 92, verse one and we want to be reading first of all the scripture and then the comment so it's good to give thanks to jehovah this verse makes us think that it's very important to be grateful to jehovah instead of taking for granted all the good things he gives us number two the same scripture, the same verse, talks about being grateful. And we notice that many people today are the opposite, ungrateful, or they don't say thank you. We must be careful that these characteristics don't stick to us, as we saw in the video of Caleb and Sophia, always please and thank you. Number three. 92 2 says to declare your loyal love in the morning and your faithfulness during the nights so scriptures repeatedly encourage us to show that we are grateful people having a spirit of appreciation builds up builds up others promotes peace and increases our own happiness in contrast some people who only complain this place a selfish spirit that leads to discouragement and negative feelings. So grateful is better than complain. Number four, 92 4 says, For you have made me rejoice, O Jehovah, because of your deeds, because of the works of your hands, I showed joyfully. So this teaches us that it's important to observe the works of creation and praise Jehovah for them. The clouds, the trees, the rivers, and the mountains, the fresh air we breathe, the fragrance of the flowers, and the singing of the birds have more reason to exist than simply their captivity in beauty. Their captivating beauty. Okay, number five. Ninety-two six says, "No unreasoning man can know them, and no foolish person can understand this." So, because these, because Jehovah's thoughts are deep, they are not easy to comprehend for some people. We are not saying. Uh, people they are not intelligent this is more deep it takes more than just looking at the surface appearance of things when it comes to the reasons for what jehovah god does and permits persons who are unreasoning or who are morally corrupt simply cannot understand and many of them dare to judge god they dare to make fun of his thoughts, and that's terribly bad. 
Number 6, 92, 12, we read, But the righteous will flourish like a palm tree and grow be like a cedar in Lebanon. So this teaches us that the palm tree is noted for its productivity. A righteous person is like a palm tree in that he is upright in Jehovah's eyes and keeps bearing fine fruit, which includes wood, good works. So we are producing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, also the fruit in the ministry, participating with joy in this special work. 7. 93.5 This says, Your reminders are very trustworthy. Holiness adorns your house. This reminds us that holiness is very important. Actually, Jehovah is a holy God, and we must strive to be holy too, especially in our heart, in our secret place, the secret person of the heart, that is our true essence, our thoughts, feelings, etc. 8. 94.5 one, this verse says, O God of vengeance, Jehovah, O God of vengeance, shine forth. This reminds us that vengeance belongs to Jehovah, and he'll pay to each person according to his actions. 9. 95, verse 7 and 8, this says, they say, Jah doesn't see. The God of Jacob doesn't take notice of it. Understand this, you who are unreasoning, you foolish ones, when will you ever show insight? So, sorry friends, I read 94 is 95, 7 and 8. So, let's do it again. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep in his care. Today, if you listen to his voice, don't harden your heart as at Meribah. So, we want to highlight these words. If you are listening his voice, don't harden your heart. So, this teaches us that if today we are listening Jehovah's advice, in other words, his voice, we shouldn't harden our hearts or be stubborn, stubborn, seeing it this way. So, so according to this, it's better for us to listen to Jehovah and live forever. 10. 94, 18. And this verse says, When I said, my foot is sleeping. Your loyal love, O Jehovah, kept supporting me. This makes us think about how much Jehovah loves us. He wants to see us well, and he always is always ready to support, comfort, and listen to his friends. Eleven. Ninety-four eight. 19 says, When anxieties overwhelmed me, you comfort me and soothed me. So, whatever cause of our anxieties may be, reading and meditating on the consolations found in the scriptures will comfort us. So, friends, that's a wrap for this video, for this quick summary of the spiritual James comments. And I want to say thank you. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe and hope to see you in our next broadcast.